everyone. Hi, Kenny. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to make a uh, tea or something? Hi, Mary. Hi, uh, Tonya. <laughs> Hello. So, let me remove this one. Because I can't. Um, I was wearing a glove. Thank you, Miss Blossom HK. And good morning. So, how is everyone? Yes. <laughs> Sorry about the moving. And yes. We are here today. We're going to color um Laura Rafferty uh Rafferty's um springtime with Kitty. <laughs> I have found this on her Etsy store and it's 50% off. That's why I I had to grab this. Um yes, Miss Blossom, my hand is still a little bit not that much no um swollen like before. Yeah, Mary, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm so happy because I just received my massager for my hands and my um stiff body. <laughs> Hello, Septic. Hello, everyone. I'm good. I was able to call her yesterday. Um, but only using gel pens. <laughs> Doesn't need to have a lot of pressure. Hi, Della. Hi, Aski. Welcome. So yeah, I I can color and um yes message you back while using um uh, my computer and i'm using my right my left hand to um not to force my right hand but yeah i can move it not like before but still the upper arm is still um i did i really don't know <laughs> hi hi angela so m my muscles are still still stiff but I'm working on it. I'm always putting hot compress and um, staying at the bath bathtub with hot water. So, yeah, aging is getting in on me. <laughs> uh, I hope everyone is well. I have seen the news, but I hope everyone is doing um okay. And let's make some. Uh, let's make this day. A happy day and yeah yesterday i saw johanna basford have posted a um free downloadable coloring free download colored page on her facebook and thank you miss blossom so um it was nice it her message is really nice and i really adore johanna basford for doing that and for giving us another free coloring page it doesn't have to the the page is not really complicated and i think i not everyone have seen this but let me um move my camera back sorry for the shaking <laughs> so i just want to share you this one that um johanna basford johanna's was basford free download pages and this is the one um with her uh yes the flower letters that she's keep on doing and i really love the message of it this message was um she wrote it we can do hard things and this one it's like you want to put it somewhere that you will be able to see it every day and i want to, to have i want to frame, frame it but since i don't have a frame and i thought of making a box this is actually an artisa box <laughs> when i bought an artisa pencils i have the box and i just cut it the center of the box and made it a, made a hole out of it and i have a christmas light which ha which is battery uh, battery operated so i have cut it and put the lights inside so it's yeah it has lights i don't know if you see well i have posted this already on my facebook and on my instagram so like that <laughs> there's a light so i always need to make myself um inspired every day so every time i see this um this thing i am inspired so and we all need to be inspired every day of our lives yes thank you mary and 
yeah, I wanted to share it to you too as well because I know things are hard harder um, nowadays. <laughs> but we need to move on. We need to keep going on. And we can do hard things. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> so, yes. Yes, Tanya. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, I'm not sure if you hear me. Thank you, Angela. This is um glitter, yeah, glitter gel pens. I only use two glitter gel pens, which um I just was I was just keep dubbing. And doesn't hard to grab, and doesn't need to have a lot of pressure. And I just used Posca yellow because I don't have a yellow glitter pen. So yeah. This doesn't show up very much um, on the the design, but I just put it the um, like for example the middle of the flower. I use this yellow, so not much of the coloring, but it was nice. I really enjoyed my day yesterday. So yeah, hi Tarinin and welcome. So I hope I didn't miss anyone. <laughs> so yeah, yesterday, not yesterday, uh, the other day, I think, yeah, I was trying to, I really wanted to, to color. But since I have bought some more of Neo colors, um, I was enabled to buy more of the Neo colors. Before, I was only having the basic colors. Now I have bought some skin tone colors as well. So yeah, this and this. These are great. Um, I don't have the set, but these are great for skin tones. Yeah, mega love shout out, the sun. <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> mega love shout out. So yeah, um, this is really a pretty. Um, it's. I know it's not springtime, but I really love the gorgeous image of um, Laura, Laura Colors 2 or Laura Rafferty. And I saw it was on, um, it's on a 50% discount, so I need to grab it. And yeah, it doesn't need a lot of time to color this because it doesn't have a lot of details. And it is, um, it's actually a, a square square one um thank you lucky yuhan yeah it's a square one but i have um printed <laughs> i was like what tanya <laughs> did everyone see that flicker is woven pages no yeah wow that's nice that's actually a good um great uh, um great news <laughs> Because if, if bleak, bleaks, bleak, bleak or bleaks. <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah, um, there's an update that um, before we were talking about Holbein's White, the PC, this one, oh no, that's Charisma, the PC501 bow, um, Bo was able to buy this one on Japan, Amazon Japan. And she was able to buy at least 10, 10 pieces of this one. So, yeah. It is actually, doesn't have to, doesn't have um, expensive shipping. So, um, yeah, it's really great that it sh uh, sh we can able to buy on Ham Amazon already. So, yeah, I bought some more. Is um we might be in a uh, not actually lockdown. Japan doesn't have lockdowns, but it's there. We're gonna be stricter this time. So yeah, I bought some <laughs> um spare ones. So I think I didn't miss anyone. Yes. <laughs> I think you, you're good, Wilson. You didn't miss anyone. So, we're going to... First, I was going to say the, um, um, the, the colors that we're going to use for the skin. 
Yes, great news, Mary. Great news. Someone, if you're interested, you really need to um, you really need to try and <laughs> it's out of stock, but it's there. Oh yeah, hi Karen. Hello. <laughs> it's been a while. So yeah, but it's still good that it will be. It might be in stock sooner or later, but really must have pencil must try to have one so the ones that we're going to use is neo color alazarine um crimson alazarine which is 589 it's just a color hard yay kenny thank you so much for the link so it's kind of hard for this before i didn't knew where the names of where the numbers of the neo colors so it's here uh, after the 7500 so the number is 589 and the next color that we're going to use for the skin tone is 051 which is salmon we're also going to use um 050 which is flame red flame red and we're also going to use 041 which is apricot so for now we're going to use these ones it's a good day to everyone. Um, I haven't um, used sharpener on this one, but you can sharpen them. I'm actually still um, watching Karen Zuchikiti's um, um, yeah, videos because she also have um, tutorials or um, especially with the backgrounds using Neo Colors too. And I guess when I see um, people that are hi doll <laughs> hello um yes just <laughs> i was a, a little bit shocked hello doll <laughs> are you talking to the um uh, are you referring to the doll image or me as a doll <laughs> i look do i look like a doll <laughs> so yes okay so welcome so yes um i really still don't want to do want to try sharpening this one yes um suchin uh, karen whole beans are expensive but they are really um worth it as my is that's why i am trying to invest i'm got i'm trying to buy i'm trying to buy one by one of the whole beans thank you jericho tolentino yeah. <laughs> thank you jess that's so sweet Thank you so much. And using whole beans and the whole beans white are really amazing. That's why I really want to um I really want to invest with them on them. And last time I have shown how to use the color um the difference of the whole beans white five zero zero and five zero one and the five zero one is really um really different from the five zero zero op five zero zero and this one you um it's better it it is um it is stated that knife you should need to use knife for sharpening this one yep and but but this this one so let me I don't want to ruin this image. Let me grab another image. Let me grab another image. So, like for example, let's do this Christmas one. The other Christmas one. So, if you already have the, um, if you already have laid down colored pencils on your, uh, on your image, and you want to have a highlight. I am not putting any pressure but the white really works well. So you don't ha you really don't have an uh anything you don't need a lot of pressure to use in order to lay down. So let's let's say for example like this if you want a little bit of um 
see-through lollipop or see-through this white is this white will really work really well to go over the the pencils so it's like as you can see this really works for um bubble you can use you can do you can use this okay can you can do, use this for um bubbles or anything like candies that are see-through or glasses shades this is a really nice pencil to, to work with yes karen that is what i am trying to do right now with hobins trying to um buy them open stock on the japan store that we are um we are we have here they don't sell whole beans on a set they are al always um selling on yeah on open stock and yeah really nice white it is um you can go over with the pencils it's already like for example like this you want to over with go over with white so this is really a nice white pencil yay mary <laughs> so it's really nice because if you want the highlights um you are you're you forgot to get to 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 do the highlights so to leave a white space for the highlights this white is really nice to work with so yeah really nice and actually this is a page that i'm working on also it's a page from rosie um rosie mama <laughs> yeah i i am struggling to pronounce her name so yes we're going now let's go back with the page from laura lafferty laura colors too and let's work with neo colors oops sorry about that <laughs> you're welcome Mar mary which one uh just the 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 white one or the the whole beans the whole bean pencils they are worth it because um when you're laying down with um whole beans whole beans pencil let me grab another paper i need another paper so let me grab this one this is a yellow from um uh, from whole beans and let me grab pencil a yellow pencil from prismacolor let's say it's almost the same let's see so yeah let's use this yellow from this yellow of um prisma color so the prisma color is really neon this is also a neon color of yellow but the um what they call this the combining of colors are really nice and really smooth to work with whole beans it's a really nice color so yeah i really don't know if you see it right on the camera but laying down the pigment it's like um i like both prisma colors in this one so laying down the pigments are mostly alike
and yeah the the combining of colors it it's like it is really smooth hi unika Uyha. good morning hi shannon i hope you're doing well and you're, you're fine already so yeah that's what um okay let me grab again the white so if you're working with the white 500 you cannot go over it it does it doesn't show up that much but with the hobain 501 you just have to it's like you are erasing <laughs> miniature so yeah that is the white no pressure at all so really nice white of all things yes we really hope that you're feeling well Shannon okay Unika and yesterday i was busy looking at the hashtag on instagram and i made a note ha it is really a lot a lot a lot <laughs> hashtag for january but i think um yes shannon also have her gelatos and who else i forgot Ashley is um having her hashtag as well, right? Yes, we're we're <laughs> we were talking about um whole beans because um Blix is already um selling whole beans. <laughs> but this is it is nice. So yeah, let's start. Let's start with this um uh, image. So yeah, um Alice. Um, crimson alasarin then um flame red apricot and salmon so first first we're going to use the um yes this one crimson alasarin for the shadows um I, I will be applying the neo colors right on the paper and we want to add the this this uh, crimson alazarin on the shadows first oh my tummy i'm so sorry <laughs> tummy save some um save some <laughs> you need to have your phone later and i think if you're watching a video your battery will be um the battery will yep i agree kenny i agree open stock is um better because you have the um you have the freedom to choose what colors you want to because there are some um holdings are, are, are have a lot of colors there's also um neon colors and soft pastel colors and i don't want to get the soft pastels one i all want i am all i only want to grab the pencils which i know i will be going to use more often so just applying this um Crimson Alazarine on the shadows. We also want to add some over here. And a little bit over here. So we want to have um, a little bit here as well Actually, I didn't like the how the, the nose turned out but anyway this is only a practice for me so <laughs> this is a trial and error error using um neo colors but i really like it so i'll add something here as well oh 
supposed to hear. So we're building building up um shadows first. So we add it here. In down under here. And also a little bit of here. And on the chin. We'll work later on we later on the um let's add here. So I'll be coloring this one as well and this one in here. So that will be the base uh, base for our skin. And then next we're going to apply ordered <laughs> wow just <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i have wet hands so the colors from the neo colors is coming into my head so this one is um flame red so we're going to add flame red going over the the ones that i we applied already So we'll be uh, adding orange down below here as well. She doesn't look pretty at this point. <laughs> we add it here and we make a circle over here. And yeah, add orange over here. Add orange over here as well. We want to leave this one as a um, lighter part. So we leave that part. So we want this one darker. So we'll be adding orange. And uh, this flame red. I, I always say it's orange because i see it is i see it orange but the name is flame red so we'll add it here and we make a little bit of shake ball so we'll be going to add it here also here it's like a this this coloring it's like you're coloring um it's a coloring of a um kid but this is worth it later on so i'm just um having so we need orange over here as well Orange here. Going over the um, crimson alizarine with orange. I'm just applying really light pressure on it. We're going to um, add orange. I forgot to add the alazarine, uh, the crimson alazarine on this part. So 
kasi we want to, to add some shadows. So, going back to flame, um, flame red. Just trying to read some. <laughs> This is how she looks. <laughs> but we're going to add the apricot right now. So for the apricot, still um, with light layer, going over the orange. Oh, I feel that the, my, ap my apricot is broken. You see that crack? Oh no. <laughs> Going over the orange. I know Neo color is a little bit streak, uh, streaky. But really nice to work with. Especially when you cannot... Um, When you don't have a lot of powers on your hands to color backgrounds, Neo Colors is there to save you. <laughs> so this image will not be that um, same as how I did the first time so as I said neo colors are really um, a little bit of a tricky um, tricky media so I am leaving a white space on that eh, on the middle of the nose And adding a little bit of this on the eyelid D pastel pencil never heard of the D pastel <laughs> but it's kind of nice to yeah the auto the auto correct okay <laughs> first i was like that to shannon b i never heard of a b pastel pencil <laughs> oh my god Auto correct. <laughs> I'm a victim. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Enjoy your dinner. And uh, yeah, enjoy your dinner and have a great day. <laughs> I need a moment because I am uh, I am victimized by that auto correct. Auto correct. <laughs> I was a little bit serious. B B pass. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think I can hear Shannon. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Sorry, 
I was uh, I just figured out I was going fast coloring this one. I need to chill. I need to get over the bee pasta. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I miss Sonia's laugh. Mm. <laughs> I wonder how Tanya is um, laughing right now. <laughs> yeah. If, if you have seen that I have... Um, I have what they call this left some white space and a little bit of yeah something like that. Yes, you got it, Shannon. <laughs> But how come B? But how come it turned out to be B? <laughs> really wondering. <laughs> so yes, um, I'm gonna, gonna be coloring this one as well. So it's really fast and fun to play with neo colors. Me. <laughs> So yes, this will gonna be <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> we want to see it. So this um this will gonna be her face. And I have layered first um so this is the part fun part. I have already my tissue ready. Yes, Wonder Woman. I really like Wonder Woman as well. <laughs> oh my. Okay. I actually forgot to buy a new brush set. Brush? Brush set. <laughs> Hi Robin. I'm meeting my words again, so I need to dry up to drink some water. Okay. So let's start the fun part. <laughs> so that's the meaning of Amazon Tammy. That's why you put it on her name. Checking my brush. So let's start <laughs> the fun part. <laughs> okay, let's start with the um this one. Oops, too much water.
So I'm just starting with the red ones first. I'm trying to bend them. See how they blend? Hi, Leslie. I, uh, I forgot to mention that I haven't um, printed this on a water media paper and I just um, Printed this on the smooth paper canson canson that I have. My printer doesn't um accept the um uh, um the, the yeah I was having trouble to print this on a water media and just tried to print this on a normal paper and. If you're be able to um, print this one on mixed media paper that would be great because um, you have to be careful if you're using a non water color um, water what <laughs> water paper And I know for sure that Neo colors will work well with a nice brush. So I'm just trying to smooth it out. This is what I like. Um, this is what I like with neo colors. You can add, you can um, subtract, subtract. <laughs> you can um, take off some of the pigments when you have added too much. Just um, take the pigment off from the brush and just um, wipe it, wipe it with your pencils, and you can just release some like for example over here if you want to erase to to remove some pigment you can just grab your brush and yeah that's what so i'm just um softening this orange here Yay, magic show. So again, we'll be going on the other side of the nose.
in my other so this one too much orange so too much orange so we'll need to remove some pigment I overdo this I overdone this So let's add again in add orange. For the cat um Kenny, for this one I have used the neon colors. Yes, for the um for the cat we're going to use pencils over it. For the details and for the eyelashes only only yeah for the eyelashes only and white pen on the eyes but the, the whole page will the whole lady will be on um with neos and also for the hair so it's a little bit tricky that um, all the details for the face will be only with neos neo colors hi ashley no worries Hello, Kakuya. Good morning. Hi, Ali. Is Ali? Is only Ali doesn't hear me or say um this does anyone does everyone hear me? Oh good. Hi Ali. Or I was um a little bit focused. <laughs> A little bit focus trying not to ruin it. um yes we need to focus on neos because um what i like with neos is even if they are oh, sorry i i think i was um really focused laying down or blending the colors for neos that is what i like with neos when it is already um a little bit dried you can still work with it Unlike with the um yeah the other one the Derwin Intense is also a water um water media. When it is already activated, um it is not. It is already fixed, something like that. So it's also a tricky media for us, but Derwin Intense is really um really good if you have learned already on how to use it. So wiping my brush. So I'm just having my tissue over here. So 
I'm carefully going here light as as light as uh, I can so this one about the white neos that is the bad thing uh kenny i didn't put a white neo because <laughs> i thought i already have white pencils so i might be working with that <laughs> thank you wilson and ali so i need to cheat to use pencils for using highlights later if i may Oops, I forgot this area. So here it's not yet blended well. Also here. I'm, I don't have any, um, I'm not putting any pigments on the brush just the water I need to remove some of that blending this area so let's move on the forehead Thank you, Tanya. The the outcome of these neons on the skin, it's like it's um turning like a painting. That's why I really like how it is how this is turning out. I love I love paintings, but uh yeah. Painting is one is also one of my um my dream to, to to do but it's like um if you have a small area it's kind of hard to buy those paints and yep the place of working uh, the art area is a little bit hard to start for painting i only do small um acrylic paintings which I don't have to use oil um, oil paints so let's okay I need to move okay Kenny enjoy your soup I need to move this on the side. This is how I am comfortable when coloring skin. I am turning the page around. Sorry, was out of frame. Okay, Ali. Kenny, we would love it. We would like corn soup. <laughs> corn soup or mushroom soup. I'm just trying, I'm being careful of how much water I am taking. 
taking out of the brush I didn't I don't want to put a lot of water to it because um it will not be that smooth enough enough so if you want to smooth smoothen it more just grab the tub yep. carefully rubbing the the, the brush only small small amount of water let me turn this on upside down because this area for me is a little bit tricky I need to soften the ones from the chin as well. Okay, that would be. Oh, I forgot to say. Forgot the Dennis one. A little bit wet, but yep. Let's move move on with the um the neck part. Starting with the I'm starting occupating the red ones. The crimson alazarine, then going um blending it with the orange. Thank you, Mary. Yeah, that sounds fun, Ali. I can play with cats all day long. <laughs> It's like I already have painted. Using um oil oil paintings. Oil paints. <laughs> That's sweet Ali.
right Tanya that, that sounds so sweet I have a kitten too before and she only comes with at me when she wants food <laughs> That's one reason why I wanted this page because it has a kitten on it. <laughs> so that's the base of the um, base of our coloring. But now I'll be using um, Brentiana 069. And this time I'll not be putting on the... I'll be working with this later on. I'll just want to wait to... Um, for it to dry, let me, I need to tone down the colors from here. Okay, I forgot to start with, with the lips first. With the lips, i uh, still going to use um, Crimson Alazarine. I don't know how you're going or doing this. I always end up too much pigment when I use this, especially if I use the crayon to the page method. So, yep. If you are trying, like for example, you have um, added too much of a pigment on this area, just grab it. Um, your brush should be clean without any pigment and just grab some and it's like you're um erasing or um subtracting some i cannot remember the word subtracting some um pigments on the paper what's the opposite word for adding <laughs> subtracting is, is the only word that is coming on my mind right now but you want to remove some of the pigment i think that would be the date uh, term for that is that you just grab your wet brush and um, apply it like this it will only um, yeah, it's really tricky that you are adding a lot of pigments especially like that how you said with the crayon going on the page but um, like this I, I just tried it and I thought it worked a lot so you don't have to um when applying the neo colors like for example some um i was applying really smooth um lightly like this this is the softest way of um doing with neo colors but if you are doing like this there's a lot of pigment already and you will not be able to um there's a lot of pigment already and too much pigment you'll be able to drag this on a lot of um space um you you will be able to drag this in a large area but if you have uh, a small amount of pigment you'll be able to control it in a small certain area so that is what i thought with um, neo colors if you um, apply a lot of pigment like this you'll um, end up with a larger area so i was applying with um light area light lighter um pigment so we need to apply just a small amount of pigment so in order not to be able to spread in a large area i thought i think 
I'm really not good in explaining, but I hope you get what I mean. So if you want to try not to um end up too much pigment, try this um try this one. And um again for the next layer, you'll have to add it with a lighter um lighter just just a lighter strokes yeah so if we compare this one a lot of movement al already so if you will grab this one it's kind of hard to it is a nice big um shade but it's really hard to control but but with this um and only small yeah really light when applying and um really careful with the brush and as you can see if i want to color a larger area i move my brush from the tip until down here but when i want to make it really careful i was just applying with the tip of the brush like for example uh this is how i apply when with a larger um yeah like this with a larger stroke but when i wanted to be careful i was just applying only at the tip of the brush so that might be one that can help you to control and not to have um a lot of pigments going on tracking is like um taking away some of the pigments yeah <laughs> i was trying to thank you so much kenny i was trying to um explain to take off um to take up some pigments so i was my, the only word that came right to my mind was subtracting <laughs> subtracting pigments <laughs> so yes so if you still um I hope that explain explains uh, 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 explain well. So just try to be careful to to lay down neo colors, especially with the skin. With backgrounds, I I I highly recommend putting down a lot of um a lot of pigment like this. But with the skin tone, if you want to try, just start with light layers first. So, yeah, but for now, if um we're working on a smaller area, like for the lips, we cannot go into the, um, using this one. Well, I don't want to sharpen it yet. So, if you want to sharpen and you have, you want to have a sharper tip, you can use on the lips. But for this one, I will be using the, this technique. Thank you so much, Andrea. If you have um a smaller brush for for details, which is something like this, you can also use it um or more even finer brush. It will be um more easier to go on the the smaller part. But with this, I will be staying using this um brush yes ali i really enjoyed this one and i haven't seen i only um saw vermilion barrios have done this on skin and i was totally impressed on how fast you can color a skin <laughs> using neon colors and it was um 100 percent. i was so happy because it, we know very well that coloring skill uh, coloring skin needs a lot of time to work with but with this one I see it's only um one we only uh, started how many minutes just to color this skin and we're almost that I think I will be able to finish this right now so okay now using the um 
James and Alazarin. Hello, Manolin. Thank you. Um, I will be starting on the um, tip of the lips. I took, I took a lot of water. So, starting from the end of the lips. Just re then removing the pigment and just spreading this one, the one that we had. Yes, save so much time and so much pain. <laughs> I really love this. So again, we'll be taking some pigments from this um, Kimson Alazarin and applying on the edge of the leaves And then removing the pigment and just spreading and blending. So if you want to erase some of the pigment, just grab your um, wet brush and There. Let's say something a little here. So this. It's really nice and really fun. And I need a little bit of um indigo blue. Just a really small amount to make the white not so white white <laughs> we want it a little bit um to make it really um not so white there and i'll be grabbing again no i didn't use white um Ali only these um these colors not not this one but the salmon no not the salmon but the apricot i actually forgot to use the salmon but no white i just left um no pigment at the highlights one so there so grabbing some of the um, some pigment on in the blue, so I just want to add um, a little bit of shade on the um, inner part. So there. Actually, forgot to add 
some red thread on the gums little bit tricky <laughs> so I'll be grabbing I'll be grabbing the burnt sienna for the I um for the eyebrows. To the tip of the crayon. Let me move the paper. Since we added that one, we'll be adding a little bit of Shana. Ha, uh, not Shana, she Sepia. <laughs> what is Shana? Sepia, sorry. When I started using Neo Colors, it was really um, a relief. Really helps me a lot. Especially with this kind of um, thing with the hand. My handshake. Really forgiving. If you want to erase, just grab that. Really nice. I missed what Shannon said. I really missed what Shannon did said. So, yep, 
everything is um and if you want to add more um if you want to add more pigment like for the shadow on the eyes now i'm grabbing burn shanna because we wanted to add a little bit of eye shadow on her face on her eyelids uh, on her eyelids <laughs> okay okay <laughs> it's my fault it's my fault shannon <laughs> instead of sepia i said something else <laughs> my fault just wanted to add shadows on her face uh, on her eyelid And then blend them. <laughs> well, I actually forgot to color the the ears. Oh my gosh! Oh no, 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 not that color. <laughs> That was, um, yep, Simpson Alazarine and the orange one. Doesn't have to have a lot of details on the ears because it's hidden. Okay. So for the eyes, we're going to use um, this one the um Brenciana. I almost said Brenciana. <laughs> Why I keep on uh, saying Shannon? I will let the eyes, um, the eye, eye, um, <laughs> I'm grabbing again, um, Kimson Alasadine. Not actually, I'll be grabbing, um, the Ruby Red. And I need to turn this page. Because we're going to go on the this on this area. I'm sorry. there too much on this area yep then we'll grab we'll grab the sepia hello ben ramos thank you for coming just a small amount and just going over So that would be the eyes but we wanted to add a little bit of blue 
Okay, Ben. Thank you. A little bit of blue from the outer area of the eye. Just really careful. So there. You want to make um, the eyelid more darker, so I'll be grabbing again the sepia and following the line of the eyelid. So we want to make it a little bit um, darker. much over here Just there. we'll wait for the um the eyes to be dry before we add the um the black pencil I need to grab my black. It's either you want to use black ball pen, uh, sign pen, or the black pencil. I need a very um. with the pencil I'm just um I'm just draw, um trying to use the black pencils that is my favorite okay. so when I'm adding um eye um eyelashes you have to I am going it with really curly with a curl stro stroke but when I start on the middle part I will go straight and going on the other side so that would be the um her eye lashes and since she's um, wearing a full eyelashes, I want to make it really um, intense. Yes, she is wearing full eyelashes. <laughs> then we have to put a line on the down part of the... Yeah, to make her eye pop out. Um, to her to make her eyes more pop out and then i'm adding um lines over here and a little bit of shadow over here she have um eyeliner over the top so it's really nice there so let's work on the other side, uh, other part of the eyes. Thank you, Miss Blossom. Again, and then changing the direction. So 
Are you above the mic? The camera hat. Sorry. Just trying to darken the eyes. I really like how curved it is, turned out. So if you still want to add a little bit of um, hair like on the, um, on her eyebrows, it's fine. there so that's how she looks and we're gonna be adding um where's my white gel pen have you experienced that you just um used it and you cannot find it already <laughs> not sure if i like the how the nose turned out but i like this nose than the nose that i have done on the first one nose is one of my um how do you call this i struggle with nose <laughs> but let me grab a little bit of um flame red on this part Michael Carolia, is that you? <laughs> you have changed your name, thank you <laughs> You don't want to use any emoticons and emo emojis anymore, right? <laughs> yes, Kenny, it's really hard. But I, I heard when they're coloring the nose, you have to make a circle, a circle on this part. <laughs> it's really um, yes, weakness. <laughs> nose is a, is my weakness. I need a lot of time to figure out the nose. I can color when it is straight, but when it's um already on um on a side or something else, it's a little bit hard to figure it how or where you will gonna put the um shadow. And I really don't uh so yeah, maybe this will work. <laughs> Let's see. That might be. I have overworked with this one and I have um yep I think um the paper I put it a lot of water already. So also on this part. But I really like how this work how how this um look like. So for the hair it's not that really hard because it's I'm o I'm only using two colors for the hair, which is sepia and the uh, Brenciana. I just wanted to show you that first I am um applying directly for 
on the page with Neo colors. Just um, going over the areas that I, do, I want to have shadows. For example, here. Uh, adding a lot of pigment on the dark. Uh, on the areas that I really want to be dark. In going slowly, um, going light, um, going to light, darker, dark to light, yeah. And this. Then. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> so, skin, the Princiana. Actually, this page is, um, was available already long time ago from um, Laura. Um, from, yeah, from Laura. Laura referred this Etsy store. But I am, I want to ask you if any one of you would like to have this image. I will be going to have a giveaway right now. A page, if you, if you would like to have this page. Or anyone is, who is interested to color this page. So that is the again the fan part. But this one I don't want to use um circular motion but more on um, straight, straight strokes. Thank you, Unika. Thank you, Tonya. So, I would love to know if how many of you would like to have um, this page from Laura Rafferty. If not, I'll be trying to go to make another giveaway next time. Just trying to finish this hair. Hi, Helen. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Yes. So that would be the hair. Not too much details. But it re it really it is really nice. I it reminds me of uh, um this gorgeous lady. Reminds me of a beautiful lady. So um I'll be trying to have another steam while coloring the cat but i ha i will give you a little bit of um uh, idea of how 
what colors I have used on the background. Now I'm using indigo blue. then going um using violet i'm going to leave a little bit of white there trying to check if everything is well over here So grabbing my brush again, I'll need to turn this upside down because I want to work and start with the dark color first. This is a really um, great color. Oh, almost done. Okay, let's have a giveaway <laughs> for this page. Yeah, I really love the uh, this purple. It's um indigo blue and it's all over my hands <laughs> and this violet really nice so i want to throw a giveaway for this um image this image is from laura rafferty and this is available on her etsy store and um the link of the where you can buy this page is on the description box of this video so i'll read the rules please read um giveaway rules so when the 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 giveaway starts no chatting please when the give it uh, yeah no go <laughs> no chatting when the giveaway starts choose one number between one to one hundred only one number per Per person no changing no deleting or double posting of your chosen number make sure you are on live chat people you need to be on live chat and just um write your number and the um and it starts right now so choose one number 
from 1 to 100. And I'll be right back. So I think everyone have chosen their numbers. So 30 seconds more. So 30 seconds more. I'm actually dancing while waiting. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Yes, only mods moderator will call the winner. So please um wait. So this was actually um not fixed yet. So one to one hundred and we're gonna now I am proud to show my phone. It's not broken anymore. <laughs> Before I was so shy. <laughs> so let's generate. Okay. 50 num um number 50 so please mods only we're gonna call the winner so number 50 So I guess it's Kiki. Shannon did say it's Kiki and Tonya said Kiki as well. Yes, Mary and Kenny. So 
Yeah, I think yes, it's Kiki B have forty five. So thank you so much, um, and congratulations to you, Kiki. You have won a page from this, um, this springtime with Kiki from Laura the Forty. You need to have um. Email me. So my email will be here. So I can send you the copy, but I'll need to message um Laura Rafferty on her Etsy store first. So just wait for it that I will be sending it to you as much uh, as soon as possible. Yeah, that's my my email. So congratulations, Kiki. Yeah, sometimes the shot is a little bit um weird, Kenny. I understand that. <laughs> but no problem, no problem, no worries. So yes, that um I will call. Uh, this would be the pro this is the progress that we have done for today. <laughs> and thank you so much everyone. And I hope you did enjoy this live stream. Yeah, how <laughs> I really enjoyed chatting with you all guys and thank you so much and i'm so happy that i can still stay with you despite of the hard um um yeah oops <laughs> oh, congratulations kiki So yes, thank you everyone for um coming in. I really enjoyed having time with you. And I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. And I hope um everyone is doing <laughs> well and don't forget we can do hard things and i hope to see you everyone on my next live stream and or on my next video stay, stay safe stay positive make someone smile and make someone inspired today i really appreciate it and really thank you i love you guys and bye bye <laughs> Bye everyone! Enjoy the rest of the day! <laughs>